gentlemen, our next speaker is John Germ. And John Germ is one of my good friends in the Rotary world. He is currently the chair of the End Polio Now Countdown to History campaign. He is the trustee of the Rotary Foundation chair elect in the year 2020, 2021. And he was Rotary International President in the year 2016, 2017. It gives me great pleasure to give the floor over to John Germ. Uh, thank you very much, Nick. <clears throat> All of a sudden, I've got a, uh, a dry mouth here. You know, Eleanor Roosevelt once said that the future belongs to those that believe in the beauty of their dreams. And I ask you to think back to 1978 when Sir Clem Renoff, who just recently died, uh, had the idea that we could have a polio free world. Took effort, <clears throat> took being turned down by the World Health Organization, but then it took Rotary to 1985 to come up with an idea to raise $120 million, raise $247 million. Then in 2007, in November, the Gates Foundation came on board and became a partner with Rotary, WHO, CDC, and UNICEF by issuing Rotary a wire transfer for $100 million. We didn't have a campaign. We didn't have an organization to go raise this $100 million, but there was two stipulations. And I want you to pay attention, please, to the fact that this was in November 2007. The first stipulation was that we needed to raise $100 million by 2010. But the most important stipulation was that we spend that money by December the 31st of 2008. Now, who else could have that much confidence in Rotary? <clears throat> Who else could have that much confidence to say, here's $100 million, you spend it. They didn't say you have to pay it back if you don't raise it. We were about halfway through the campaign. I mean, who's going to turn them down? So we started a campaign. We were about halfway through that campaign when the Gates Foundation said, we'll give you another $100 million if you'll agree to raise another hundred and we'll go to 2012. Well, thanks to many of you that are on this program tonight. Thanks to those that went before us and thanks to those that believed in the beauty of the dream, we raised 228.7. Well, that relationship with the Gates Foundation has continued on. We now have an agreement with the Gates Foundation that if we do $50 million, they will do $100 million. Now, another interesting thing about the agreement with the Gates Foundation is that $50 million becomes $150 million, but it's Rotary's money to spend. So Rotary actually allocates $150 million in a year. A lot of people have said, well, how do you spend this $150 million? So this chart that you're looking at shows that we spent $28.5 million on vaccine. We spent $21 million on detection. We spent $36 million on raising awareness and making people aware of the fact that we still have to have the polio campaign. And we have to have people aware in the, the water, the sanitation programs and stuff that we have. And we have to get the vaccine to the children. There are still many areas, parts of the world where we cannot get vaccine to the children. But let's look at raising awareness on the next slide. You can see that we have a lot of uh, people there behind the end polio now because it does take teamwork. And many of you have heard me say that Together, everyone achieves more. The reason we're here where we are today with the eradication of polio is because 
we work as a team. You see a billboard sign there, World Polio Day, and Jennifer will talk about World Polio Day in just a few minutes. We talk about detecting disease. And if you look at the next slide, you'll see people that Mike referred to that are in our laboratories, that are there working, and that are helping us to detect the disease that is the virus that is coming in from the sewage into our laboratories. The vaccine. We have to spend money for vaccine. We spend $850 million a year through the GPEI for eradicating of polio. And it is expensive. We have to do surveillance in 72 countries. And so that's what the laboratories are doing. And as my expense in those laboratories have been used for Ebola, they've been used for uh, the COVID. Here you have a Rotary volunteer putting those two drops, just as was shown earlier by Aruna, as to how important it is that those two drops get in that child's mouth. Well, we have to deliver that vaccine and that's uh, 58.5 million. We help fund donkeys, bicycles, tricycles, boats. We fund a lot of things of how we can deliver this vaccine to these children. On the right there, you see three healthcare workers. We fund an awful lot of healthcare workers. As a matter of fact, we fund over 100 million vaccinators to go out there to help deliver this vaccine. So it is a team. It is a team that gets together. Well, we could all be all pessimistic now because uh, we can't meet in person. We've got problems with fundraising drives because we're now transforming. So we're optimists though. We're optimistic that we are gonna finish this job that Rotary actually started. 2018-19, we raised $50.8 million. 2019 and 20, we raised 50.795. Now, quite honestly, if I knew that we were that close, I'd have told Neil to give me $5,000 so we could have been back at 50.8 million. The interesting statistics and where we really need your help. Not only do we need the individual contributions, but 70% of the districts contributed some DDF to the campaign. That leaves 457 that didn't contribute anything to the polio campaign. 53.7% of the clubs contributed to polio. What happens to the 46.3%? That's where advocacy comes in. That's where we have to work hard to have the, especially the younger Rotarians that are coming in that do not know about polio, did not know when you couldn't go to the swimming pools in the summertime, did not know when your parents wouldn't let you play with the next door neighbor because they were afraid they would have polio. 240 districts though did give 20% of their district designated fund to the polio campaign. So we congratulate them. And we ask them to talk to their fellow governors about how important it is, how important it is that we reach out to every Rotarian because only 9% of the Rotarians out of our great big membership of almost 1.2 million people contributed to road polio campaign. Now some went through their club so we don't have all that accurate information but it is not much more than 10 12% of do, doing that. Come up with some ingenious ideas. Think about what we need to do. The fallacy of part of our system is that we have allowed carryover DDL. And right now we have 175 districts that carried forward over $100,000 for a total of $31.5 million. 49 million in total was carried over. We need to reach out to those districts, those district governors, those district road foundation chairs to say, what is more pressing than the eradication of polio? And if you think that polio cannot spread, think about what has happened with COVID. It started in one area, it's all over the world now. We hear about it every day. It can happen with polio just as well. 
But while I've talked about money, and that's what I was asked to talk about, it's not just the money. It's not just the money. It's what the money can do. And those slides showed you what money can do. The decrease in the number of cases in the countries shows you what money can do. Nigeria is a success. Africa is a success because of what the money did. So thank you very much. And let me close with one comment that I think is very important. Rotary is the organization, not anybody else. Rotary is the organization that first had the vision of a polio free world. Our polio eradication partners look to us to sustain our commitment. As Bill Gates told me when I asked him, why did you give money $100 million, $200 million, and now this agreement with the Rotary for polio. He said, because Rotary has the passion. Rotary has the commitment. Rotary has the stewardship to be sure that we spend the money properly, and Rotary has boots on the ground. So we must remain steadfast in our goal to continue to move forward. I want to thank you for your support. Neil's been a great champion. We have other champions there in the district and throughout the world that are looking at this video tonight, this Zoom tonight. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you're doing in this event tonight. Tremendous successful. But more importantly, thank you for what you're going to do in order to help eradicate polio from the face of the earth. Thank you. Thank you very much for those very poignant and apropos comments. Thank you.